Okay, I'm thinking Bill Nye. Ooh, nice. How about Bismarck Key? Oh, old school. Think Chris Hadfield would be good? Indubitably. But time zones might be a little tricky there. Ooh, what about Gillian Anderson? Oh, yeah. We'd have to sedate Trent, but yes, sure. I'd also like to put down a vote for Burgess Meredith, but he's dead. I don't think you should hold that against him. Yeah, fair point. Hey, you folk musics! Starch and I were just blue-skying about who we'd like to have show up for a crossover riff. The possibilities are endless if you ignore our D-list status and lack of funding. Still, I think we'd all right for ourselves. Ooh, actually, on a more realistic level, you know who I think it'd be really fun to riff with? Hit me. Internet comedy music person David A. Scott Jr. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey guys, this is gonna be great. I've got Super Star Wars, Act Razor, Chips, a six of root beer, and Goosebumps on VHS. Sweet, a crossover with the king of literal music videos. That's awesome. What? Wait, Goosebumps? VHS? Well, yeah, for the sleepover. Uh, Jim invited me over to play Super Nintendo and watch scary TV shows. Ooh. What the hell is a VHS? Junebug, big confession time. That was all just a flimsy pretext to get you here for a crossover. None of those things are even in that backpack. Buddy! <laughs> ah! Ah! What? In fact, you don't even have a backpack at all. Ah! Oh, what the... Jim, you just can't trick people into crossovers all willy-nilly like that. The Reviewerverse has very strict rules about this sort of thing, and we're already on thin ice after you tried negotiating with the God Empress of Afghanistan. Hell, I'm pretty sure the CIA bugged our shower because of that. <laughs> How'd you like them apples, Washington? Okay, 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 I may have crossed a the line there, but in my defense, it is equally likely that that bugging was ordered by Nickelback. But da, before you storm off in a litigious haze, hear me out, in song! On the one hand, I am feeling very put out right now. On the other hand, I do like songs. At least I still do. The next few minutes may change all that. B. Not looking good so far. R. Guest, be our guest, put your patience to the test. We'll dredge up the public domain for whatever riff tracks left. Hygiene shorts, bike safety, societal conformity from the 50s. Duck and cover? That's been done, let's do another. Oh. You can sing, Starch cannot, after all, you're D.A. Scott, whose literal music videos are best. Oh, go on. You've got skills to impress, so come fix our hot mess. Be our guest. Be your guest? See, our guest. Crossovers are the way, that's what all the good friends say. Why just ask Allison Pregler? I regret it every day. We'll exploit your talents, cause we want dead presidents. Though the sentiment's distressing, the honesty is quite refreshing. We'll throw jokes at these flicks, till we all just sound like dicks. But to make a film less boring, that's the quest. If you don't riff with sass, a lightning bolt your ass. Ah. Ignore that pest. I'm depressed. Is this really for the best? Be our guest. Please say yes. Sure, I guess. Carl Green and Goldmark did it first. Oh, you no start with me. I have legal right to say anything I want in any form I want, and you have legal obligation to listen and let me say it, because otherwise then you are Hitler. And oh, no. Be your Joel, be your Mike, watch this crap that you won't like. We've been at this for three years now, and our view counts need the spike. Use your voice and your charm. I suppose there's no real harm, though this parody is heinous. I'll help you as I'm net famous. Very well, I'll riff with you, but I get half your revenue. It's a blip check worth a happy meal at best. Tonight I'll boost your ratings. Lord, this song is grating. You're our guest. I'm your guest. I'm You're our guest. guest. Jesus.
I want my goosebumps back. My pancreatic orifice presents... Evil! Garlic pepper! Grandpa? Oh. Tad Tadlock? Someone's parents didn't give a crap crap lock. Look, you don't have to stop me from attending Why a rent fair. the entrance barred? Ah! Zoonoid! What secret do they guard? Probably the drugs they used to create this into. Oh, wow! What are they designing in there? Uh, my next 3 a.m. nightmare. Magic, magic Behold our magic enchanted office desk. Before the show is staged, begins the magic of creation. I think and you mean the magic the of intelligent design? In the design? Oh, yikes! Rod Serling and Mr. Rogers had a teleporter accident! Yes, dance for me, I give you life! Oh my, <laughs> it's great to be alive! The magic of the past. Cool, man, cool, but we'll have to work fast. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fast. Ew. It's funny because it's premature. I know what it means. I'm sorry. Turn back the clock. Cher frantically struggles to learn their secret. Today's a golden chivalry. That never. Existed in history. It's Bullet Man from the G.I. Joe Adventure Team. You'll be my strong and gallant knight. Too bad your cold piece is way too tight. So brave when you must fight. At least on Twitter for men's rights. Ah! Oh, the cops finally found Mayor McCheese and Ronald's heading for the border disguised as a mustard mascot. Man, this Channel Awesome game show looks amazing. Ooh. Ku Klux Joker away! Oh, whoa. Oh, come on, the dragon on Tic Tac Doe had more menace. Your magic sword will save the day. Elmer Fudd had more dignity And turn my life of woe To joy and laughter I laughed because of that guy's space captain face pants <laughs> the will sing your praise <laughs> In chants <laughs> Ow! Oh, screw this, I'm leaving you for the dragon Albino piranha plant is trying to eat her head! So, what the hell is this advertising? Your fetish is to light us! Let's get out of here. It's too late. Blow the charges Ladies, now! Go no, holla! It's a good day to die! The magic of the past doesn't last. What we want to see is Are the, the words the end? The, the world's first car powered by scrubbing bubbles. Oh my god, it's falling on top of us! Chevrolet. This car practically drives itself. I'll try it. I'd love to. Ooh. How's that for magic? Smooth, man. Smooth. I hardly felt all those pedestrians we ran over. The yellow balloons are a tacit admission that this car is a lemon. 
We want Goku in Smash! It's really beautiful. <laughs> it's got the new diagonal drive. Look who wants a lift. What, that boulder? You know the rules. Gas, grass, or cup. Come on, baby. Once Maybe you've had so. dragon, you never stop bragging. <laughs> Mighty Neptune demands you buy this car! Oldsmobile. Oh no, not again! Ah! Ah! Why do we keep coming to the I don't know! And power. In this car, you feel like everything's coming up roses. Can it be pushing up roses? Whoa, that is some grade A white privilege. The unholy alliance between Big Auto and Big Balloon. We offer ourselves a submergent sacrifice for car god. Ah! Designed and engineered for the spell of the open road. Oh great! Exhaust, road tar, and dead stunts. What a bouquet! Like the night, she rides in Buicks like a bird in flight. So quick right. swerve into this pothole and she flies out of my life. That won't cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> oh, what? Indentured manservant not included. Yeah, no, Bayonetta shows up and kills the crap I'm out of him. Like so am I. But we've got to get back. People may talk. A touch of magic will fix that. Oh. And they divorce after eight months of passive-aggressive okay. bickering, having accrued massive debts with their unchecked auto-purchasing. This dream house you and I will share was planned for us by Frigidaire. Oh, we're getting a twofer. Eyes in every room, a new surprise. Oh, this room's got a dead body! I found a portal to the sixth dimension. I got a rock. Oh, let's have a housewarming. I'll get the kerosene. I just want to remind everyone that there's still a giant Mr. Rogers slash Rod Serling hybrid watching all of this happen. Just, just let you know. No, good enough. Ketchup salad, yum. Yeah, he's bouncing around the kitchen like a spider monkey. Great, more life hacks I can't afford. I'm tired. <laughs> Get the hell out of my house. Oh, look. They forgot to hire other actors. What a dream house. What a dream automobile. What a country. Ow! Hi, kids. Get a load of my Oldsmobile F85. Say, Freddy, that's the land. the greatest. Step on my line again and you're a dead man, Freddy. It's Dr. and Mrs. Brown. Good evening, Marty, really we have to stop flying cars from existing. Just bought it. How <laughs> smart. Smartest thing he ever did. Well, so are they here. dead? Is that what's going on here? No, I think they're in the Pixar Cars universe. Oh, they'd be better off dead. And for a wedding present, in your garage, a new Chevrolet Corvair. Every one of these cars looks like they were carved out of soap. Jello shots! Woohoo! Oh, lady, those aren't the house guests. You got a serious roach problem. Welcome to Flu Flu Drink Island. I'm sending the dragon to burn down your house! Ta! I don't know about you guys, but I'm really liking this blue and black dress that she's wearing. Ah, uh, you're seeing it all wrong! It's blue and gold! Oh, really, guys? Really? You're right, we deserve an arrow to the knee. Or an hour in the ball pit. Could both of you do me a favor and go directly to hell? What a day, ha, ha, ha. But the fridge there house has gats to use that will drive away your cleaning up blues. Just pick up the plates, the button is So they just and threw the, the plates at the editor and made him the put them away. Clean themselves, washed and dried, they're back on the shelves. Six days later, once the sink is full of dirty dishes again. Well done. You must be tired. Not that me. Kind of I'm ready for another party. You night the garage, mister. Magic every day is the charm. 
charm that goes a long, long way. But no matter how far it goes, Lucky the Leprechaun can never escape. And the magic is constantly new. And we'll finally going to screw. Oh, I love the open on. <laughs> well, I guess we're dead now, honey. Hope you like sinister circus music for all of eternity. Nah, I think now they're just gonna sing about the praise of Philip Morris. <laughs> yeah, Victor directed it so low I could hardly watch it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'll be here all night. All I can say is thank goodness hard drugs came along. Kenneth Snelson? There's someone whose grade school life involved daily purple nurples. Yeah, knew the least bad toilets to get a swirly in. All so good enough for special effects that are just good enough. Kramer, what are you doing with the blood diamonds? Come on! <laughs> and I think we've all learned a valuable lesson about pool safety. Aha! I knew that dragon seemed familiar. Edward L. Combustinuff. He never had another role in film, but he did have quite a career off Broadway. There. There's nothing on Internet Movie Database to contradict that. Well, yeah, he was all over the place in the 70s and 80s. He's right here in my big book of cut-rate musical theater personalities, Volume 3. Let's see, Six Month of Les Mis in Spokane. He played Desire in Streetcar to sold-out audiences in Halifax in 74. He got a Tony? No. Two Tonys. How about a Tony, Tony, Tony? Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkensharer's Into the Wood Chipper. Seriously. I remembered him because I actually saw him once, during the farewell tour of his one dragon show, Nothing to Prance At. It was a tour de force. And what became of the humans from this? Well, the lady, Tad Tadlock, went on to be a choreographer with a handful of acting credits. One for an episode of Cheers, apparently. James Mitchell prances his way into numerous minor roles, including a 30-year run on All My Children. Who'd have thunk it? So, is Mr. Combustion Stuff still acting? Well, it says here he married a Princess Monaco of Kent. Quite a scandal because of the age difference. And then retired to an apple farm in upstate New York, where he currently makes artisanal apple blossom honey. What a trooper. We can only hope our futures are as bright. Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshares. Anything goes except for that one thing. Don't do that thing. Eyes on the camera. 
you realize that's the exact opposite of good advice in film. Well, yeah, but we're doing an internet thing. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. The format disagrees with you. You are just awful today. I swear. Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshare's Waiting for Tony. You know who I think I'd be... Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshare's There's No Business Like Retail. Ah, oh, got a little blinky on that one. Let's do one more like that. Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshare's How to Suck in Business Despite Trying Really Hard. The reviewerverse has very strict rules about this sort of thing, and we're already on thin ice after you tried negotiating with the god empress of Haganistan. D. Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshare's The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Tony. I regret it every day. I regret it every day. Shut up. Two Tonys for playing Tony in Arthur for Brinkenshare's Annie, get your goddamn clothes back on. Hey, Pipples, if you liked our nonsense, why don't you give us a like, or a subscribe, or leave a comment down there somewhere? You can also do us a big solid by joining our Patreon, where you'll get to join us for live streams, get early access to the newest videos, and other such things. Geek Vision.